Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Sing Street and this movie came out in 2016 and I just saw it for the first time and it's been on my watch list for a while and I finally got around to seeing it and I enjoyed it. I think if I were to see it for a second time then I probably would get more out of it. But with one viewing, it was decent and the story took directions that I wasn't expecting quite to how they would play out. And what I mean by that is that there were some characters that were kind of annoying in the first half, but they are like a bit more important and to have more of a purpose in the second half. And it kind of subverted my expectations of how they would normally be used. And this movie, I was expecting to be very hollow and just the music scenes being the best part of the movie, much like Footloose or Flashdance or something like that. But in this movie, the story is very tight, and there's a lot of music in the movie, and there's also an equal amount of story in the movie, and neither one of them overpowers one another, and when the music starts, I'm like, I'm into this, I, I'm enjoying this, and when the, it gets back to the story, I'm still into it, and I'm still enjoying it, and... The music I did uh, like quite a bit, and it was very catchy to me. And I liked uh, the characters and the world that they were in. And I liked the idea of where this uh, movie was taking place. And they did uh, some interesting things with it, even though it's not like throughout the entire movie. It's still done with purpose, and it makes sense within the story. And to uh, it does impact the characters, and one issue that I did have with the movie is that I didn't really feel as though a lot of the elements that were set up in the first half had a lot of resolution to them in the second half, or at least nothing satisfying for me. And even though some things subverted my expectations of what they would eventually be, and instead of like... Uh, the second act little point being like just a bunch of bullies ruin everything it was something else i i'm not gonna say but as much as i liked it that it was different i'm struggling to figure out the point in doing that because it really just didn't have much of an impact on anything by the end of it it kind of just like what can what else can we do here and uh, they were just running out of ideas and really the core of the movie is uh, the band and uh, the romance and that's most of what you get out of the movie and also the characters and that's mostly what the movie is and most of what your experience is is probably going to be because that was my experience enjoying the music the characters the performances and no one stood out to me as bad and and there weren't any performances that, that just stood out to me as uh, distracting and there were only a couple characters that uh, like I said earlier, kind of annoyed me in the first half, but in the second half, it made sense why we're in, they were in the movie to begin with. And I feel as though if I were to watch it a second time, I might get a bit more out of it because now I know what the movie is going for and it might impact me more. But for now, it was decent with what I got. I liked it. I had fun while watching it. I wasn't super invested, but at the same time, I'm glad that I watched it, and I'll give this movie a second chance for sure. And I do think if you were to give this movie a chance as well, you will enjoy it as well. And it was a nice, fun, indie movie that I enjoyed quite a bit. So check this movie out uh, once you have the chance. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Sing Street a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Sing Street and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Stanley Kubrick's Lolita. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.